JCS families, and thank you for joining us for the JCS Epic Awards. Students have worked very hard over Project Week this year to create something that they are passionate about, and they're sharing it with you today. Sit back and relax and watch your peers' educational projects. Enjoy. Grace Rowan. My name is Grace Rowan, and I will be presenting Carnivorous Plants. Grace is a first grader at JCS Mountain Oaks. After a walk through the botanical garden, Grace found some interesting carnivorous plants and chose to learn more about them. Her project board was organized, well-written, easy to read, and informational about each plant. Her excitement was contagious as she presented descriptions, facts, and differences between six carnivorous plants. Grace's Venus Flytrap 3D model with moving parts to catch bugs added a flair to her presentation. Not only were there questions about carnivorous plants Grace easily answered, but Grace was also explaining how her 3D model worked and how the parts were put together for it to move. Grace's carnivorous plant project was epic. I made a prize out of pipe cleaners. And these are the trailer hairs you can see. So when I fly those in and say it touches this one a bunch of times, the two ropes will snap shut. And what prevents from that bug from coming out is these. They're called cilia. They're like jaws. And after a week, that will open back up and the excess skeleton will fall out. And Venus fly traps can catch three bugs and that trap will die and a new one will come for replacement. Devin Kinney. Hi, my name is Devin Kinney and I am in kindergarten. And I, ch and I chose my, my, the Boomtown Project. I chose Boomtown Project because I wanted to learn what it was like back then or. Devin is a kindergartner at JCS Mountain Oaks. Devin's beautifully crocheted scarf and handwritten journal explaining life in the San Diego Mission Presidio in 1850 were just the beginning of his amazing Boomtown project. Devin's journal included descriptions of a variety of chores in the life of children during this time period. While presenting, Devin was able to easily explain the history with a focus on the differences between children's lives in the 1850s and children's lives today. Devin's ability to present his research and make a connection for his classmates to easily understand was epic. Thank you for, 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 for watching how I made my project and, and what I did. Kaya Johnson. I am Kaya and I am in kindergarten at Seba Cove Academy. For my project, I made a bake plate. Kaya's Chocolate Bakery is an epic project deserving of a spot in the Hall of Fame. Kaya Johnson from Cedar Cove Academy made an entire bakery. She made a recipe book with five recipes she found in cookbooks. Her beautifully decorated book included the ingredients, steps, and her thoughts about a lava cake, a rainbow cake, hazelnut brownies, double s'mores, and cinnamon rolls. The recipe book also included a table of contents and photos of her in action. Kaya continued to show her creativity by making a craft bakery and even decorated a chef's hat. Some of the things this kindergartner learned include how to make recipes, how to use a sharp knife, how to turn the oven on and set the timer, how to grease a pan, and she also learned the differences between cups, tablespoons, and teaspoons. Kaya brought in samples of her brownies for her class to taste, and they absolutely loved it. 
thank you, Kaya, for sharing your passion for baking with us. I learned I like chocolatey treats the best. These are brownies that I made. I will give them to you if I could. Ren McCulley. Hello, my name is Ren McCulley and I'm in third grade and I did this project because there's been a lot of car accidents in my neighborhood. Ren is a third grade scholar at JCS Mountain Oaks. When Ren saw a problem in her community, she didn't just sit back, she did something about it. Ren was concerned about the number of accidents on the road in her neighborhood and wanted to prevent the cars from crashing. She questioned why they were happening and wanted to see any patterns. Ren visited the CHP office to gather information. She researched, collected, graphed, analyzed, and summarized the data. Using her realistic model of the road near her house, Ren concluded and demonstrated that signs in front of her house to warn the drivers of the curved road would be helpful. Finally, she wrote a letter to traffic engineering in her community with her recommendation. With all her in-depth work, I feel that Ren's project, Slow Down for a Safer Town, deserves the JCS Epic Award. I learned that if you notice something that's bad in your neighborhood, like a problem that can be fixed, you should do something about it. Kaya Shiraki. Hi, my name is Kaya, and for my project, I learned about an amazing American woman. Her name was Julia Child. What made her so special? Let's start from the beginning. I nominated Kaya because she went above and beyond in showing an educational, passionate, innovative, and creative project on Julia Child. Kaya began her project by giving a detailed biography of Julia Child that included a variety of visuals in her explanation of Julia Child's life. She not only provided an organized timeline but brought her project to life by cooking three of Julia Child's recipes. Kaya made a soup, stew, and dessert. In each recipe, she gave a full description of what she used to make each item, provided visuals, and participated in a taste test to see which recipe was the best. Her reflection at the end was detailed in explaining what she loved the most, what was difficult, and what she would change, all showing a great example of what a learner should do when they take ownership of their learning. Julia Child once said to his ordinary, but I think she's extraordinary. Julia Child taught me to work hard and never give up on my dreams. Audrey Leiter. Into the future. Audrey created an excellent hot air balloon project. Videos embedded in the slides show the incredible process she used to create and fly the balloons over the houses. I am so impressed by her learning. Mia Winter. Hello, my name is Mia Winter and I'm in the fifth grade and I did my passion project on the Titanic. I am happy to nominate Mia Winter for an epic award. Mia did an amazing amount of research about the Titanic. Not only did she create a very informative essay and video, but she designed an extremely creative game 
that includes pictures from the Titanic, as well as questions and answer cards, hope cards, and SOS cards. Her passion for the subject is evident, and her game is brilliant. If she chooses to market and sell the game, I'm sure it would be a huge success. Because she has gone above and beyond to learn, communicate, and create an awesome project, she deserves to win an epic award. I worked really hard on my project, and with a few changes, I think that maybe I could market this game and sell it. Maybe it would be a huge success. Amos Fleet. Hi, my name is Amos Fleet, and I'm in fifth grade. In my presentation, I will talk about liquid fuel rockets and how they work. I will also talk about the history of the rocket and my construction process of the presentation and my model. Amos created a 3D model of a rocket, then 3D printed it, and showed how each part functions. He had a PowerPoint presentation and lots of detailed information. He was very knowledgeable on the subject. Amos also had a short video clip for historical reference. Thank you for watching. Leah Cormier. Hi, Leah Cormier, and I'm in fifth grade. Let's get started on our presentation. How to Edit by Leah Cormier. Leah is an incredibly bright student who is eager to learn and is passionate about digital art, animation, and coding. She brings her love of learning into the classroom daily and is always willing to share her animations, designs, and art with the class. Leah completed this project 100% independently without parent involvement, which goes to show her raw talent, skill, and passion to create and edit her animations. Each of the short animation videos included in Leah's Project Week presentation were ones that were designed, created, and edited by her. And whether she wins an epic award or not, she is an all-star and has a future ahead of her in this field. Her passion, excitement, and joy in all things technology related are a real bright spot in our class, and I want nothing more than to see her shine. Now I'm going to be playing some videos that I've edited. Simone Johnson and Megan Reichuber. I'm Simone. I'm Megan. And we'd like to share uh, the hope behind relaxation station. So a couple months ago, both of our dads passed away. Mine was due to cancer. And mine was due to a sudden stroke. So um, over that time, we've kind of learned that healing isn't linear. And um, that he, uh, that means that emotions aren't just a straight line. They like go up and down and just like say if you're fine. So we learned that um, feelings are okay, like you can't express them. And we wanted to create a place that you can express them. These young ladies both lost their fathers recently. They found themselves at one of life's most defining moments and chose to find a way to help others. The relaxation station is not just something they dreamt up on a whim. Inspired by experience, it is based on mental health research. The topic is extremely relevant, which would be beneficial to many, 
and has the possibility to change the school environment. Impressed would be an understatement when it comes to this project. Cool! Thanks to all the donors who donated to the Relaxation Station! Andrew McCulley. This project is about awesome shapes that appear on a vibrating plate. Andrew went above and beyond in his work for Project Week. He researched Ernst Cloudy and his cloudy plate learning all about sound vibrations and patterns. Then he set off to make his own. It was fun to learn that the plates you see in the video were made by Andrew from different materials. Not only was his project thorough, but his presentation, teaching his classmates all about sound vibrations, was engaging and fun. Well done, Andrew. These are my patterns or experiments. This is the waffle squat. My sister named it because she was squatting and she likes waffles. And it was pretty basic. This is the pickle dilly. My mom named it. She likes pickles and she thought it rhymed with silly, which it does. Sort of a high frequency. This is the flower deflower. My sister named it. She wanted it to be unique and she likes flowers and thought it looked like a flower. I think it looks like a lemon, but... Um... Also, it looks kind of like a rim of a car tire. Took a while to make and has a few nodes and anti nodes, mostly nodes. The next pattern you'll see is a pattern that looks kind of like a rim of a car tire. It's called the Noodle Baker. Here it is. And my, mom, my dad named it because he thought it baked their noodles, which is the brains. Scientists can use all this information that I figured out to help make musical instruments like violins, cellos, and guitars. Raya Kazmierczuk Hello, my name is Raya Kazmarchuk and my project is called Engineer This. I created a machine that combats one of the causes of pollution, which is trash. Raya is a scholar who goes above and beyond with all her work. Raya wanted to create something that would help the world. This is the kind of person she is all around. Her project process was extremely well documented with photos of her doing each step. She learned how to use a new computer application to create a computer model of her invention, in addition to her model. She included interesting research on artificial intelligence, and when she presented, she was able to explain it in such a way that she piqued the interest of other scholars. Everyone was inspired by her work which is such an important part of science, to be engaging and inspiring. She is an inspiration and an epic scholar, in my professional opinion. I'm going to show you how the claw works. This one opens and closes. This one moves only the top up and down. This one moves the whole top half up and down and this one can move it sideways.
and that's how it's done. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a nice day. Vienna Elmendorf. Hi, my name is Vienna and I'm in seventh grade. My project this year is about a historical work of art created in the 11th century. It's called the Bay of Tapestry. Vienna is being nominated for her exemplary work on the Bayou Tapestry Passion Project. She conducted a high level of research and spent five hours cross-stitching a small section of the tapestry just so she could get an idea of how long it might take to stitch the 70 foot long tapestry. She incorporated scale factor math work into her project and composed and played a song to accompany her project. Well done, Vienna. Finally, I composed a piano, a piece on the piano that would accompany some of the major events from the tapestry story. I'll play you a selection now. Sean Dotson. Hello people watching this video. For my projects, I decided to make this explanation video of the 12 principles of animation. Note that the way I am telling these are as described by Frank Thomas and Ollie Johnston in their Disney animation book, The Illusion of Life. I am nominating Sean because he spent a lot of time researching his project and breaking it down into small, manageable steps. He is a natural born teacher. Not only is his project creative and engaging, it is highly entertaining, too. The students watching his presentation asked him a lot of questions and were very excited about learning more about animation. So I believe his project contributed a lot to our culture of learning at Pine Valley Academy. Anyway, this brings us to the end of this video. This took me a lot of time and effort. Hopefully this explanation of the 12 principles inspires some of you. If it doesn't, uh, that, that's okay too. And yeah, that's all. Penelope Flores. Today I'll be making japchae and talking about its origin and place in Korean culture. Penelope Flores created a lovely project based on her passion for the culinary arts world. She completed research on the Korean dish japchae that took the viewer back to the 17th century. She established the symbolism of using long noodles in the dish to represent the belief in a long life and served as a celebratory dish. As she made the dish, she walked the viewer through step by step. Overall, Penelope did a wonderful job sharing her passion. That's it. Garnish with sesame seeds and sliced egg yolk. Now you have japchae. And if you were able to visit an Asian store, 
You can have a side of kimchi, fermented spicy cabbage. You can also make a side of steamed rice. Enjoy! Michael Kostler. Hi, my name is Michael Kostler, and for my passion project, I built a computer from scratch. The reason why I wanted to build a computer from scratch is because I had an Xbox that just did not work as a computer can do. And I was very curious what goes into a computer. So I built a computer this year and I learned so much information and I maybe want to go into a career with computers inside of it. Michael built an entire computer from scratch. He composed a 20 page typed report detailing each step of the process with a five page reflection. And he worked through his fear of public speaking and gave an amazing detailed and clear presentation to the junior class. Michael went above and beyond on his project and was proud to show his work to his classmates and teachers. And this is my pricing project. Thank you very much for listening.